الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيئنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباع جمعنا ما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب جالني مقيم الصلاة ومن زوريتي صدق الله لالي All praises be to Allah the Almighty alone The peace and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Upon his family members, companions and upon every Muslim brother and sister who follows the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the day of judgment. Respected elders and dear brothers in Islam, at the outset I would like to advise myself as well as yours to fear Allah in every moment of your life, to obey the commandments of Allah and also to be away from what Allah has prohibited. This is called taqwa. May Allah bless everyone to follow taqwa in our life. And also, and also do keep, do keep the intention, the intention of i'tika that, that I'm staying in the masjid, in the masjid, masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers in Islam, alhamdulillah, our brothers and sisters, elders, already they have gone for hajj. Hajj begins today. MashaAllah, let us pray for them, let them have the al-hajj mabrura, the hajj accepted one, no? And also you would have been listening to a lot of clients about the last 10 days, where that we are now here. And, and these and are the ten days where Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows a lot. No? 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 We have already would have heard a hadith, hadith which comes in Muslim. No days on which the righteous days are more beloved to Allah than these ten days. Specifically, these ten days are mentioned in the Quran in Surah Fajr, Walayar in the ten nights. And also the ninth day, the day of Arafah, where that non pilgrims need to fast, or the Sunnah to fast. And also, and also the Hajj the day, day, between the Yawm al Nahar, also mentioned, was Shafi wal The even and the odd day. So I'm not so going I'm to talk about, about the, 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 those matters, but already you have, mashallah, had heard about those things. And also, we know that during the Hajj season, scholars, maulavis, ulamas, and everywhere you can hear the life of Ibrahim alayhi salam being spoken repeatedly. And why, and why the life the of Ibrahim, Ibrahim is spoken, spoken during this season? season? Because there is no hajj if Ibrahim is not there. The hajj, the hajj, is, hajj is completely had been had designed been by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The activities that were performed by a family, that was the family of Ibrahim Apart from all the other rituals. Now the salah, psalm, zakah, these have been ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly by through the angel Jibreel alayhi salam and the design and the structure is also designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the hajj is not like that. It is not a what you call a structure that was designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's an imitation of the life of Ibrahim alayhi salam's family. Every act in hajj, every ritual in act, hajj, is related to the life of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So without, so without talking Ibrahim al you cannot, you cannot talk, talk about the Hajj. And also dear brothers in Islam, Ibrahim al Islam has been mentioned in the Quran as an Imam. Allah says in Quran, Inni ja'iluka nasi imama, I'll be making you as a leader to the Ummah. So why that Ibrahim al Islam was made as an Imam? Because we know that we have been commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no? Inna lukum inda Rasulullah uswakul hasana. Indeed, you have in Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the finest example. So we have to follow the Prophet. But the Prophet is commanded to follow Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam. Fattabi billat Ibrahim a hanifa. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had been commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to follow the, the life and the style of Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam. So he was, so that's he why he has been known as the Abu Lambiya, the, the father of all the prophets. And his, and his life is so perfect, 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 perfect so, so exemplary, and also, and also full of so guidance. Guide. So, so today my topic today is, my topic is, is Please bear with me because you know that we have, we have a power cut, which I'll try to shorten the Jumma much as possible, inshallah. 
So the life of Ibrahim it's a life of dua, supplication. Life of Ibrahim it's a life of sacrifice. Life of Ibrahim it's a life of submissiveness to Allah. He dealt and he strengthened and made all his relationships with Allah, with his wife, with his children, with the community, so perfect. So that he should be found. And he's the only one to be found in all of his life. So I would like to mention a few of these duas of Hazrat Ibrahim not the meaning of the duas. To see the concern of Ibrahim about this about society, society, about his about family, his family about, about the matters, matters that related to what you call Sarah. The first, first thing, thing that we that need to learn from Ibrahim is the dua. Dua, 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 dua. Because there are there many are duas are mentioned in the Quran, in the Quran which were recited Quran, by the Prophet. The, prophet, the highest the number of duas are the duas of Ibrahim. There are many duas mentioned in the Quran which were recited by the Prophet. The highest number of duas among them are the duas of Rasulullah, the dua of Ibrahim. The first, the thing, first is thing is his dua. Dua, 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 dua. He begins, he begins with, the with the word, word Rabbana, Rabbana, our Lord. Pleading in dua. The humbleness in dua. So Allah teaches us how Ibrahim makes dua from, from, us. from us. Now you would have no, no, uh, heard about the story about that he's leaving his wife and the children in the desert, child Ismail alayhi so I would so like I would to just like quote, to quote that dua, that dua and to and make you understand, understand how repeatedly he used the word Rabban. Rabbana inni askantu min zurriyati biwadin ghayri zizarin in the Baitikal Muharram. Rabbana li yuqimu salah fajal afidata min al-nasi tahvi ilayhi marzuku min al-samarati al In this dua in two places, Ibrahim a.s. is using the word Rabbana. My Lord, my Lord, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. So this is so the dua he made after he left his wife and the child Ismail alayhi salam in the desert. Not with what he called the, with full of joy or happiness sometimes, you know, we may, you know. But uh, he left them with so, the, what do you call the, the grievance and also the worries. And he just went away from there and made a dua for his uh, family. In that only he said, Ya Allah, I'm leaving my generation, my progeny. In, in the front, front of your, of your house, house Muharram, 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 the, the, the sacred. 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 And then and he then says, li yuqimu Ya Allah, they, they should, should establish, establish the prayer. The prayer. <laughs> And then and only then he only says, he says let, let the attention of the people, people like the caravans like the caravan, turn towards them, 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 them and give and them give the them fruits them from you. From you. From you. From no, just, no, just note this dua. dua. After, After he left the wife and the son in front of Ismail and he comes out from the place and he makes this dua, starts with the word Rabbana. And he and is he mentioning about his uh, plight. Ya yeah, Allah, I have Allah, left, left my progeny, my generation, my generation, my generation because my whole children. 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 If Ismail, Ismail is destroyed, is destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. the most of the, I mean, the, 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 my, the almost my, my half of my generation, generation is destroyed. destroyed. And I left and my wife off. So that he is having the concern over the family. So he makes dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what did he mention first? They should, they should establish, should establish the, prayer. the prayer. Then only then he, he is making dua for dua other provisions, other things. So either, so either, either the, the ulama says, 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 this may this be either, either he is worried, he worried about, about the prayer, prayer of his wife, 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 or maybe he is worried about his son, if the son does not survive, that no one will be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his generation. Apart from Apart his Sahar Sahar it's, a separate, it's a separate story. 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 So his concern, his concern about, about the son, the son and also the son should worship, worship and make the prayer in future. 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 There are two wives have been served. So, so then only, only he says, the the turn, turn the attention of the people, those who are passing by towards them and give them the fruits. Give them the food. So Ibrahim is so concerned, concerned that, that everyone, everyone in my in generation, my family, 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 should obey should Allah with prayer. prayer. That's, why That's why he used to, used to make, make a very frequent, frequent dua for, for himself. Rabbi Jalni Muqayma Swat. Ya Allah, make me a person who constants in prayer. Make me a person constant in prayer. Regular. 
Wamin Zuriati as well from my generation as well. So the concern of Ibrahim A.S. even after leaving the wife and the child is about the prayer for his family. Now this is the sunnah, this is the, the thing that Allah tells Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You order your family for about the prayers. You be concerning that. Why your father Ibrahim was making dua for the constancy. So Allah is ordering it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You order your family members about the prayer and you be constant. So you give an example practically rather than you know verbal. Ibrahim alayhi wa life is not a life of sermon. Pardon me. It's a life of practice and life of example. He showed he from showed his, what he called, call, 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 activities, activities physically, physically, physically how Allah, Allah should be obeyed and, and pray. pray. So, so Allah mentioned Allah in another verse, another in the Quran, Quran about his son Ismail. Was the Quran fil kitab Ismail? You remember about the Ismail? Inna hu kana sadiq al wa'ad. He was a very truthful of his promises. He was a person who is very truthful of his promises. And then and Allah then says, Allah says Rasul and Nabiya. Nabiya. He was a prophet as well as a messenger. He used he to order his family members, his wife and his children to pray. pray, 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 pray. What, the what the father did, father did the son is also continuing. continuing. So, Allah so Allah is mentioned, is mentioned in three places, places what Ibrahim did, 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 and following and the father what the son did. So Allah says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you also should do that. So when Allah mentions about Ibrahim alayhi salam, son Ismail alayhi salam, who had been learning salah from his father, وَكَانَ يَعْمُ رَحْلُهُ بِسْفَلَهُ He used to order and command his family members about the prayer. وَكَانَ إِنْدَ رَبِّهِ مَعْلِيَ So he's being highly satisfied. By, I mean, we are highly satisfied about it. So the prayer is a part of our life. Prayer is not a part time, it's a part of our life. So Ibrahim has set the good, good example for that. For that. For that. And the second and the thing, 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 as I mentioned in this verse, Allah says about son Ismail alayhi salam, Sadiq al He's a, a very truthful person of his promises. You know why the son is so? That is also because of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Because as a father, Ibrahim alayhi salam has made dua, Rabbi Habli Hukman, Ya Allah, give me the wisdom, Wa al bi salihin, and join me with the righteous people, Wa ja'ali lisana sidqin, give me a tongue which speaks only the truth. Dua of the father, not only in him reflects his son. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, today we, we elders, we fathers, are only advising, but we don't have a practical, practical example in our life. So, so Allah says Allah the father, father was father asking for the truthfulness in his speech. So Allah says his son has become the same. These are the verses from the Quran. So, so, so this is the thing actually I need to speak today. That we that have we to be have practically, practically exemplary, exemplary to our children. To our children. Not only in this. Allah speaks Allah about, about Ibrahim alayhi salam, 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 how that he was uh, talking to his father, though his father was a kafi, azad. Okay, now this is also we need to take our into our consideration. There was a conversation, there was an argument, actually, an argument. The father was actually abusing, no, I mean, Arguing with Ibrahim alayhi salam, 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 salam regarding the worshipping of idols. So Allah says that in the Quran very clearly. Was good fil kitab Ibrahim in Hukan a Sadiq Siddiq and Nabiya in the Kalabihi Abad. So in that long verse, Allah says, You remember about Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was talking to his father. Because the father was an idolater who was worshipping the idols. But Ibrahim, but Ibrahim alayhi was uh, advising or he is explaining the father why I worshiping these things, things which cannot do any benefit or no harm. Okay, it's a okay, long it's a conversation. conversation. 
Though the father is a kafir, though, though the father is not ready to accept the what he called the view of, view of or the suggestion of Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam used to call the father, Ya Abati, my beloved father, my dear father. So this word Ya Abati in between the conversation four times mentioned, where the father is completely against the the speech of Ibrahim alayhi salam cursing him, at last the father said, La arjumannak, I will stone you. I will, I will, I will, I will stone, stone at you, at you if, you if you don't stop this. Stop, 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 stop. But yet but Allah, Allah says the Ibrahim Allah alayhi salam's words were, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, my dear father, my dear father. Okay? Now this is the conversation. Now we'll go to the the Quranic verse that speaks about the slaughtering man. The Ibrahim alayhi salam is not commanding his son Ismail, you would have heard this many times, but please listen to it very carefully. First of all, we need to understand the, the slaughtering matter regarding Ismail alayhi salam was not a direct command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jibril alayhi salam did not come and tell to Ibrahim alayhi salam, you have to do it. Number one. Number two, this is actually had been shown to Ibrahim alayhi salam in dream. So the dreams of prophets are ordered, but it was not said even in the dream that you have to slaughter. What was what shown was in the shown dream, in the, the, the father, father comes and tells to the son, Ya Bunayya, O my dear son, Inni ara fil manam, I see in my dream, Anni azbahuka, like that I'm slaughtering you. Did you understand the difference between the sentence? It is not a command from Allah, Ibrahim, you had to slaughter your son. Know that in dream it was a direct command, Ibrahim, you had to slaughter your son. It is repeatedly being shown to Ibrahim that he is slaughtering his son, like he is doing that act. So, very carefully, please listen to this, Ibrahim is forwarding this matter to his son. He made no command, he made no compulsion. And he and called he the son, Ya Bunayya, O my dear son. Inni ara fil manam, I see in my dream. Anni as bahuka, like that I'm slaughtering you. Thandur madata, what is your opinion? So he's asking only the opinion, what do you think about that? So there is no command, there is no compulsion, there is no force. You tell me what you feel about it. So Allah says the reply of son, Ya Batiya, my beloved father. The same, the same word what he used, he used for his, his father. father. father, 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 father. So Allah said, the son used the, son the same father, 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 word to the father. Ya yeah, 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 oh my dear. Father, 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 father. If you think father, it is think a command, you, command, you can proceed. Can proceed. No problem. No problem. If you really if you feel really it's a command, you proceed. Such a jizri, inshallah, inshallah. You will find me among those who are patient. So it's a very nice conversation between a father and son. And this conversation begins, Allah says, After son has reached to walk, to walk along with Ibrahim. It means, son was not a child or infant. Where that the, oh, what I have to do? No. Father, the son was under full of his own freedom of choice. And Allah, and Allah clearly, clearly mentioned, mentioned that he was he almost reached Ibrahim, Ibrahim to walk along, along with him, him not carrying by Ibrahim. 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 So it's a grown-up grown son. 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 How respectfully the father speaks. And joining the son with the negotiation, the discussion. Today, unfortunately, some of us have become hidden. Only giving commands. Expecting everything the children should do what we tell. Without giving them a proper place in the family, without being consulted, the children should be consulted. Give them a, a feeling that I'm a part of this family after they have grown up. Because Allah mentioned this very clearly. After he has reached the age of walking along with Ibrahim, shoulder to shoulder, then only this incident happened. So both of them are having a very good negotiation. And then this. So life so of Ibrahim is a good example, is a good example for us for how that we should make our family. Life, life of Ibrahim is not a story just to be spoken, just to be spoken and to be what you call commemorated every year. year. It is a it life is that, that we have to see that we are adapting them. them. That our life is also to be like the Ibrahim's life. 
So Ibrahim alayhi salam many of duas. As I told you, number one, Rabbi Jalni Muqima Salah about the constancy in prayer. And he's making dua, wa min zurriyati, from my generation, from my children, also the same. I need my generation to be the same. Obeying you, Ya Allah. Submitting me themselves to you. Second, Ibrahim alayhi salam never forgot to make dua for his father, parents. Rabbana, as I told you, pleading and begging, Igfirli, forgive me. Wali wali daya, and for my parents. Unfortunately, we don't have time today to make dua for our parents. So busy. No, 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 no. Hassan al Basri rahmatullah says, quoting the Quranic verse, Rabbana, Rabbi rahmhuma kama Rabbiyani sagira. Allah teaches you how to make dua for your parents. Oh my Lord, show mercy upon them as they showed mercy to me when I was small. Hassan Basri Rahmatullah says, this Quranic verse is an obligation. Because Allah says, Kul, say. In the Quran, there are many duas mentioned as asked by the prophets. But there are only very few dua. One of them, the dua that Allah teaches us to make dua for our parents, where Allah He Himself teaches us, this is how you have to pray. This was not a dua which was recited by someone. This is a dua Allah directly teaches us, this is how you have to make dua for your parents. Kul, say, Rabbi Rahamhuma Kama Rabbi Ya Allah, show mercy upon them. Both of, both, of both, of both of them, as they as showed they mercy showed upon, upon us when we were small. So a direct so command. command. So, so Hassan Basra says, it is an obligation. obligation. It's, a it's a must, a must. must. for every, for every child, child and son or daughter to make dua in every prayer for their parents. So Ibrahim had this dua for his parents. So Azar, though he was a kafir, Ibrahim alayhi salam said, La astaghfiranna, definitely I will make istighfar for you. But later on Allah said, no, you cannot do that. Because if he's not a mumin, you cannot ask istighfar. Then only he refused. Until then he had been making dua for his father. Though the father is an unmuslim. So, so making, making dua for parents, parents is another example, example from the life of, of Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam. And also making dua for the believers. Walil Mu'mineen. Ya Allah, forgive the sins of the believers, the Mu'mineen. So asking for the Ummah. Asking for our society, the community, the people. It's a part of our obligation. Allah says in Quran, the reason of sending Rasulullah wasallam, it is that because of the dua of Ibrahim. It is as if Ibrahim who made a dua, Rabbana wa ba'as fihim rasoolan, yatlu alihim ayatihi wa yu'allimu al-kitab wa yuzakkihi. It was a dua of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ya Allah, you send among my generation a prophet who recites the verses, your verses, and who teaches the book, it means the Quran or the religion, and who purifies them. And this dua was granted, so Allah says in the Quran, He is the Allah, He is the one who sent among you a prophet to teach you what is the Quran and the Sunnah or the Kitab and then to purify you. So the sending of Hazrat Rasulullah is the result of the dua of Hazrat Ibrahim which that he had the concern over his community. So, so, so respected so elders and dear brothers in Islam, Islam, we have we to have include to all these things in our prayers. prayers. So for, myself, for myself, my wife, my, my children, children, because, because the, very the very famous dua of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam is, Ya Allah, Rabbana Ja'al, Qurrat Ayyun. The Ibrahim alayhi salam used to ask, Ya Allah, make our children and our wives as a coolness of our eyes. Give us, give us pleasure, pleasure out of, out of them. Them, them, them. In the sense, make them righteous. 
dua because, because as a father we need to make dua for children as the elders teachers for start it is not only that giving advices it is not only giving punishments admonition we have to make dua for them and as we learn here we have to be exam so ibrahim alayhi salam set an example in his life so it reflected in his children it reflected in his wife dog the last, the last point, point, point we all, we all talk, talk about, about the incident of uh, ibrahim alayhi salam left five hajar and uh, he went he from the desert, desert. You, know that, you know that uh, he, after, after he is leaving, leaving them, 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 them he did he not did give not them a reason, reason. reason. He did, he did not try to convince his wife saying i am leaving you because of this no why that he did not give a reason or clue because he was speechless emotionally he is being blocked he how can he say that i'm going to do this i'm going to leave you all like this so ibrahim alayhi salam was speechless that's why he is he is the plight he is the worry and the concern is being manifested in his dua so then when he is leaving like that it was the wife khaja who asked from ibrahim allah was in him did allah, did allah command, command you like, like that like, 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 like this now what we now need what to understand, understand the relationship between the husband and the wife though the husband did not express anything wife is able to understand the in the speechless there was a communication in that speechlessness there was a communication So the wife so realized realize, if my I husband is leaving me like that, 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 that it has, has to be for some reason. reason. He would not, he would do, not like do like this. Like so if he is so doing me, mean, it means there is something. something. So this so realization is there in his wife because, because of the the good character Ibrahim alayhi salam had and how that he trained his wife. So that's why the wife says, Allah was in it, did Allah command you? He was having a reply through it just like that. Then what, then what? What was the reply? Isn't lay you by you. Then Allah will never ruin us, never destroy us. You can, you can, you can. No issue at all. You are leaving no issue. If it is a command from Allah, Allah is sufficient. So this is the belief that we have to bring in our fam. So respect to the elders and dear brothers in Islam. May Allah bless everyone. So since the there is a power cut, so would like to shorten the Juma a little bit earlier. And also, and also the Ibrahim alayhi salam, salam life in grief is a life of dua a life of sacrifice and he had taught us how to run the family and how to be a good father a good husband so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is one of his followers so sallallahu alaihi wasallam follows him. such a big examples are there in the life of ibrahim alayhi salam So that's why the Hajj. So because of this man's life, this Prophet's life, Allah made the Hajj obligation. Allah made Hajj an obligatory act. Hajar alayhi salam, she ran between the Safa and Marwa in search of water. Do the Hajjis today run in search of the same? I mean, we are doing the Sahi in search of water. Ample of water. <laughs> you can drink i is i but we but do, we the, do same the same act what our mother, mother did because of that act was loved by allah that sacrifice was loved by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah needs no reason to make legislation allah needs no reason to make rules 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 to the extent that you all you know know the green light 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 where that was the beginning of the safa where hajar alayhi salam when she climbs that she needs to exhaust herself little bit hard so she was expediting or she is uh, accelerating her speed so we have been asked to do the same in that spot whereas now it's a flat there is no hill for us to climb but you do the same as she did every moment every inch this is because allah love them if a family is love allah make barakat in them the example is the zamzam which was the out of the barakat of the family of ibrahim alayhi salam every muslim every time had 
tested. Every house has got every So therefore, respect the president and elders in Islam, may Allah bless all of us. And also, may Allah bless our hajis, those who are performing hajj and make their hajj kabul. And Allah forgive our sins and also sins of our parents. Ya Allah forgive our sins of our parents and those who have left from us, Ya Allah. And Allah give them those who have left us, Ya Allah, the Jannatul Firdaus. And the hajis, those who have gone to perform hajj, Ya Allah, make their hajj much mabrood. And also our children, our family members, everyone, Ya Allah, make obedient and submissive to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, make us, Ya Allah, our last word in our mouth, Ya Allah, La ilaha kalim at the time of our death. Amin, Alhamdulillah.